Hello one and all. Welcome back to our channel from Open Pen Innovation Lab, Bangalore. Hope you all had a very wonderful time celebrating the festival with your near and dear ones. This week, the topic is whether we can uh, convert text into speech using Python. The answer is yes. Using only two simple packages, you can convert any text into voice and the two with any kind of accents or language. See, we'll see what we can offer today. We have installed Jupyter Notebook. It's fine. Else we can start directly. We'll use Google Collaboratory this time. Just open your browser. Here I'm using Mozilla Firefox. If you want to use Chrome, you can use Chrome as well. Just type Google Collab. So here you see, welcome to Collaboratory. Just click on that. So if you get something like this, just go with new notebook. Here, you can type any name. It will be saved in the IPYNB format. So here you can rename your notebook and all these notebooks will be saved in your particular drive, Google Drive. So to execute any program, just use the keys shift enter or click on this run cell or else you can just go to runtime and run. So here my runtime, I'm going to set it to be none itself. If you are going to use any kind of GPU or DPU, you can set it and give it save. So especially if you're working with uh, CNNs like convolutional ne neural networks and all, this graphical processing unit can be used. As of now, for the basic exercises, we don't require any hardware accelerator as such. So here for convenience, this week also I'll be using Google Collaboratory. If you are interested, you can use Jupyter Notebook. So here, to start with, go to File and New Notebook. Already I have opened the program here, text to audio processing in Python. The same thing has been uploaded to GitHub as well. And you can access the link given in the description. First, we are going to start with GTTS. What is this? This is Google text to speech. It is a Python library and command line interface tool to interface with Google Translate text to speech API. It has customizable speech specific sentence tokenizer that allows for unlimited lengths of text to be read all while keeping proper annotation abbreviations and all. It has a customizable text preprocessors which also help for pronunciation correction. So first we have to install GTTS. After installing it, we are going to import it. So this line of command is used. And as I said in the previous video also, this import OS is used for operations, operating system functionality. So here is my song lyrics, which I have uh, taken from Eminem song. I have assigned it to a variable called song lyric. And the language I have mentioned is English. And here I have called this GTTS Python library with the text to be this song lyric variable language as English, what I have mentioned, and slow, I have set it to be false. You can also set it to be true. This slow parameter uh, will slow down the way it says, and it takes the values either true or false. Boolean values it will take. And then whatever song lyric I want uh, in this text, I want it to be recorded as an MP3 audio. So I'm going to save that. So I'm calling this my translation.sev welcome.mp3. Now we'll try to make it more interesting. After converting the text to a speech, now I have to play that audio. For that, I'm going to import audio from ipython.display. So why I'm using this uh, command in the sense it creates an audio object. So what is an audio object in the sense when it is returned by an input cell or passed to the display function, 
it will result in audio controls being result displayed in the front end so what you see here this is displayed in the front end so for this to be displayed along with the duration i have used this ipython dot display import audio and auto play it will start playing immediately that is why i have set it to be true you can also set it to false and see how it works and display voice so since this is a big stanza what i have copy pasted here it is not showing the ending time so whatever uh, text you want to enter you can just put it as short and sweet text also still how much duration it will come it will also show here so now we'll run the program and see Sometimes you just feel tired. So that's it. So now to make it more interesting, just instead of standard English, I'm going to change the language to be Korean. So we'll see how it displays the voice. Change it to Finnish language. Hope this was quite a small interesting exercise you had. So using this as base, you can develop your own voice assistants or use deep fake voices where your favorite celebrity will be talking to you in your native language. So stay tuned to this channel for more interesting topics. We post new content every week. Like, share and subscribe. See you next time.